the basic questions that we're interested in is, is trying to understand how all the cells in your body can sense the level of, of different molecules that are important to them. And one of them that we started studying is, is that of cholesterol, which is important for maintaining the seal around all the cells in, in your body. And it's essential that cells have the, the right amount of this molecule because too much of it is, is bad for the cell or, or not optimal and too little is also not optimal. So in order to be able to tell if something um, is too high or too low, you actually have to be able to measure it. And, and we like to say that this is like a thermostat where um, understanding, for instance, how it is the cells measure the levels of cholesterol is, is very important for our understanding of disease states. So one example with cholesterol is that in particular the low density lipoprotein or LDL is and when it's high in your blood it's a, it's a risk factor for the development of heart disease. And the system that we uh, study in terms of how th this uh, how cells sense the levels of cholesterol controls uh, a receptor which can bring the, uh, the LDL cholesterol into cells from and remove it from your blood. And it actually, some of the more commonly prescribed cholesterol-lowering medications affect this, this sensing system and this pathway. And so we, by understanding more of the details about how that pathway works, we can then provide new opportunities to uh, engineer uh, new therapies or, or potentially intervene in a way in which we could increase the amount of, for instance, uh, this receptor which pulls in the bad cholesterol from your blood and stores it more safely. And so we, we use this uh, model organism of fission yeast to do this because it's sort of small versions of our own cells. They have a lot of the same genes and proteins are in com um, you know, serve the same functions between the two organisms. So we start from this sort of using this basic organism as a way of elucidating a lot of the parts and creating a parts list and then use uh, human cells and um, animal models in order to try to see if what we think is um, some of our hypotheses based on our work in this model organism also hold true in a uh, 